हेलो फ्रेंड आई होप योर प्रिपरेशन इज गोइंग वेल एंड माय वीडियो इज हेल्पिंग यू इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम व्हिच हैव आस्क इन गेट 2006 एंड बेस्ड ऑन एनर्जी इंटरेक्शन सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज गिवन एंड व्हाट यू हैव टू फाइंड इन द गिवन क्वेश्चन देयर इज अ इलेक्ट्रिक बॉल ऑफ 100 वाट एंड स्विच ऑन इन अ रूम व्हिच डायमेंशन इज 2.5 मीटर इनटू 3 meter into 3 meter and the room is thermally insulated which means no heat interaction between room and the ambient or surrounding and the initial temperature of room is given which is 20 degree celsius and we have to find the room temperature at the end of 24 hour running of electric ball so friend i hope you have understand till now so keep watching till the end at the end we will definitely able to solve this problem now let's go for the solution here we have suppose t is equal to final temperature of room and volume of room that is v is equal to 2.5 into 3 into 3 which is equal to 22.5 meter cube initial temperature of room t naught is 20 degree celsius and running hour 24 and power of electric pole is given 100 watt and watt is joule per second so it is equal to 100 joule per second and this all value is given in the question and according to the question the room is thermally insulated so the heat released by ball will gain by the air inside the room so heat released by ball during 24 hour of running that is q is equal to power of electric bulb into running hour that is t and power of electric bulb is 100 joule per second running time is 24 hour so to convert it in second we have to multiply by 3600 here q is equal to 8.64 into 10 to the power 6 joule we know friend density of air is equal to 1.2 kg per meter cube so mass of air is equal to density 1.2 into volume 22.5 which is equal to 27 kg and to calculate the final temperature of room we use the formula of heat transfer that is q is equal to mc delta t and here mass of air is known initial temperature is known and cb is a specific heat of air at constant volume and we know friend cb is equal to 0.717 kilojoule per kg kelvin and a specific heat of air at constant pressure is equal to 1.005 kilojoule per kg kelvin remember this two value and value of q is also known so only here final temperature of room that is t is unknown now it's become 8.64 into 10 to power 6 is equal to 27 that is mass into 0 0.717 into 1000 it is a specific heat of air at constant volume into temperature difference that is t minus 20 and from here we are getting the value of t that is final temperature of room which is equal to 466.3 degree celsius so friend i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any doubt feel free to ask in comment section we try to solve as quick as possible thank you for watching this tutorial have a good day